Good evening, and welcome to the 2019-2020 National Venturing Virtual Reception. My name is Pamela Petterchak, and I have had the honor of serving as the 2019-2020 National VOA President. And my name is Caitlin St. Louis, and I have served as the 2019-2020 National VOA Vice President. Before we begin our evening, please join us in the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible with liberty and justice for all. Two. We are so happy to have you all joining us tonight as we share some highlights from the past year of venturing and to recognize the outstanding achievements and work of the youth and adults that have made our program possible. Although we are unable to meet in person, we are very glad that you were able to join us on Facebook Live. To start off the evening, I will present to you a report of the happenings of the Venturing Program during the 2019-2020 term. This past year has been a testament to the Venturing community's ability to lead the adventure no matter what. From June 2019 to today, the BSA and our world have experienced dramatic changes. And yet, venturers have proved time and time again that we are prepared for any challenge and situation. Beginning last summer, crews embarked on adventures, camping, backpacking, and more. From the recovery and reopening of the beloved Philmont Scout Ranch following the Ute Park fires, to the gathering of tens of thousands of young people from around the globe at the 2019 World Scout Jamboree, venturers had seemingly endless opportunities to explore. Local councils and areas hosted numerous events over the summer and fall, providing exceptional programs for ventures across the nation. All of this adventure was facilitated by the work of countless staff members and volunteers whose service is integral to our program. Throughout the past year, the BSA has continued to embrace family scouting and young women were welcomed into all BSA programs. With this change, venturers step forward to support and assist other units. From helping younger scouts build Pinewood Derby cars to mentoring another young person while earning a merit badge, venturers have been a source of positive support to all scouting units during this transition. Furthermore, venturing officers association, associations across the nation have been hard at work, running events, providing assistance, and advocating for the venturing program. This year, for the first time ever, we contacted and collected Council Venturing Journey to Excellence data from 100% of our councils nationwide. The data from these forums provides a foundation for the proper support of each of our councils and will be used to inform our decisions as a venturing committee. Additionally, more councils achieved gold rankings than ever before. This milestone for the Council Venturing JTE collection could not have been achieved without the dedicated cooperation of our council representatives and VOAs, as well as the hard work of our area and region VOA members. Finally, moving into the spring of 2020, the world began to experience tumultuous and frightening changes. The COVID-19 pandemic greatly affected the lives of our members this year. Restrictions were placed on public gatherings, canceling school, scouting events, graduations, internships, summer travel, and more. However, rather than giving into the disappointment of this situation, ventures immediately sprang into action. Nationwide, crews and officers immediately and nearly seamlessly moved their program offerings online. This spring, we have seen online training courses and camperees being attended by units from around the globe. We've watched as crews have continued their regular meetings, opting to meet on a video chat rather than in person. Crews are visiting museums virtually, playing games together, and challenging each other to achieve their goals in physical fitness, academics, personal enrichment, and more. VOAs and crews are giving back to their local communities by making face masks, volunteering for food pantries, offering assistance to immunocompromised individuals, and simply being a force for good. Overall, we are extremely proud of the optimism and action that the venturing community has enacted during these uncertain times. The past year has been full of unexpected changes, but it goes without saying that ventures are always prepared. 
thank you for taking the initiative to lead the adventure and ensure that even though we are apart, we are never alone. Over the past year, a team of remarkable, remarkable youth officers worked diligently to make venturing successful across the nation. Personally, I couldn't imagine a better team to have served with this year with the National Venturing Officers Association. At the beginning of this term, I was determined to develop a team that would not only work well together, but who would be friends for life. These young people have far exceeded my hopes and expectations. They are all incredibly dedicated to the program and the people in it. They always have each other's backs. I can say without a doubt that these individuals have become some of my closest friends, my family. I will miss our somewhat wacky monthly conference calls, our late night conversations about the latest memes, and the love and support that we have given each other this year. I would like to take a moment to recognize the outgoing national VOA during the 2019-2020 term. First, Caitlin St. Louis, national VOA vice president, and our advisor, Robbie DiBaggio. Ella Hirsch, southern region VOA president, and her advisor, Sherry McGugan. Tyler Gray, Western Region VOA President and his advisor, Elizabeth Finley. Natalie Nichols, Central Region VOA President and her advisor, Julie Dalton. Claire Toman, Northeast Region VOA President and her advisor, Gordon Leary. From at home, please join me in thanking these incredible volunteers for all they have done during the 2019-2020 term. It is now my honor to induct the National VOA President for the 2020-2021 term, Tyler Gray, for the term beginning on June 1st, 2020. Tyler is from Western Los Angeles County Council and served most recently as a 2019-2020 Western Region VOA President. Tyler, please raise your right hand in the scout sign and repeat after me. I, state your name, Do hereby promise on my honor as a scout. Do hereby promise on my honor as a scout. That I will faithfully execute the office of National VOA President. That I will faithfully execute the office of National VOA President. And I will use the scout oath and law. And I will use the scout oath and law. To guide me as I lead the adventure. To guide me as I lead the adventure. In serving the venturing program, in serving the venturing program, the Boy Scouts of America, the Boy Scouts of America, and the World Fellowship of Scouting, and the World Fellowship of Scouting. Two. Congratulations, Tyler. At this time, I would like to introduce the National Venturing Leadership Award Chair, Mr. Dan Caravo. Thank you, Pamela. Good evening. My name is Dan Caribou, and I am the Awards and Recognitions Chair for the National Venturing Committee. It is my pleasure to present and honor this year's National Venturing Leadership Award recipients. The Venturing Leadership Award is presented to individuals who show exceptional dedication and give outstanding leadership and service to the venturing program and to its venturers. It is the accumulation of each recipient's efforts that have made them worthy of receiving this award tonight. To make an impact at the national level speaks volumes to who they are and their true commitment to the venturing program. Each recipient had their own distinct and impactful leadership styles that they have shown uh, and that makes them highly recommended for this award. It is with people like our recipients, both past and present, who make this program better and more engaging for the members of it it is the pleasure of the National Venturing Committee to present tonight's honorees with the National Venturing Leadership Award. With no further ado, by the power invested in me, I declare this National Court of Honor open. Let's meet our first recipient. April is an active member of the National Venturing Committee and has spent the last six years as the National Director of Program for the Boy Scouts of America. 
She provides support and leadership over the venturing programs not only at the national level, but also as a crew committee member and an area VOA associate advisor. April loves seeing young men and women transform into confident, capable young leaders. The fact that she feels rewarded by the success of others is a sign of a true servant leader. Her enthusiasm for venturing, outstanding leadership, ability to empower others, and endless contributions to the program make her an outstanding recipient for the National Venturing Leadership Award. I serve venturing because it is a, a unique age group. Um, the older youth and the young adults. Those young people have so much to offer our country. I had so much as I was growing up. So many people were mentors to me and, and helped me out. And I just feel like it's my duty to give back. The National Venturing Committee is proud to recognize April McMillan with the National Venturing Leadership Award. April has contributed selflessly as a volunteer and as a professional. We thank you for your service. Now let's meet our next recipient. Bob is the current training chair for the National Venturing Committee. He formerly served as the Northeast Region Advisor and was part of the National Venturing Steering Committee when the structure of the National Venturing Committee was being redesigned. Bob was responsible for the design of all initial trainings for youth and adults in the venturing program and he has steadily led youth for decades. He traveled the Northeast Region building VOAs at all levels. The countless individuals who have undergone trainings led by him will all agree that Bob Surhall is a fantastic candidate to receive the National Venturing Leadership Award. Working with our young people, whether they be officers or members of crews, locally, area-wise, regionally or nationally, have them be able to use their God-given talents to the maximum and not be afraid to make decisions, not be afraid to make a mistake, you know, as long as there or others health and safety aren't endangered. Those are the key elements of why I continue to want to serve. The National Venturing Committee is proud to recognize Bob Surhall with the National Venturing Leadership Award. Congratulations. Bob has been a vent been in venturing for many years and held countless positions at all levels. It is his leadership that makes our program great. We thank you for your service. And now let's meet our next recipient. Claire is the current Northeast Region Venturing President and shows the power of leadership through personal connections. She has reached out to people from every single area in her region to personally mentor them and help them achieve their potential. Claire works not just with numbers and results, but with the actual people behind them, accounting for people's familial situations and studies. Claire has also demonstrated this desire to build others by serving as staff for National Youth Leadership Training, Wood Badge, National Advanced Youth Leadership Experience, and Venturing Fest. Her contagious can-do attitude and electric personality truly encourages others to achieve their full potential. I first joined Venturing because I wanted to attend the 23rd World Scout Jamboree in Japan. And after the Jamboree, I started going to crew meetings and council events just to see what Venturing was about, but I wasn't super keen on joining. But I quickly fell in love with them after all the events and everything. So I decided to stick with Venturing and I've been here ever since. The National Venturing Committee is proud to recognize Claire Tolman with the National Venturing Leadership Award. Congratulations. Claire is a very engaging and dedicated venturer who lives and breathes venturing in her daily life. We thank you for your service. Now let's meet our next recipient.
David is serving as part of the program development team for the National Venturing Committee. He works tirelessly on investigating, researching, and developing proposals to better the venturing program. When working with others to develop these ideas, he makes a point to connect with them and understand their perspectives. He has served as a crew advisor, council advisor, area venturing officers association advisor, national jamboree staff, world jamboree staff, and venturing fest staff. David's ability to exude enthusiasm and positivity everywhere he goes makes him an excellent mentor to youth and adults in the venturing program. Well, I have wonderful Christian parents, and among the many things they taught me is that we give back. As I was growing up, they were tremendous examples of serving others. But scouting has given me so much over the years, from when I turned uh, eight years old. When I was a scout, I benefited from very dedicated scout leaders. I now have great scouting friends all over the country. And of course, you cannot put a value on the privilege of working with the exception young people who are involved in venturing. I'm certain I can never give back to scouting all that it has given to me, but as long as I'm privileged to serve in scouting, I plan to continue serving. The National Venturing Committee is proud to recognize David Bush with the National Venturing Leadership Award. Congratulations. David has always led from behind and has been extremely dedicated to the venturing program and its members. We thank you for your service. Now let's meet our next recipient. Ella is the current Southern Region Venturing President, and she has served as staff for Wood Badge, National Youth Leadership Training, and Venturing Fest. Throughout all of this, Ella has consistently shown outstanding leadership. She started by building her home council into a machine that manufactures leaders. Now she has established consistent contact with almost 90% of the councils of the Southern Region, which is an unprecedented achievement. Ella is a leader who finds seemingly insurmountable challenges and uses a team to overcome them. I started my own venture crew and it's still active today and it's along with my brother's troop and that's really how I started getting involved with Scouts. I think what really inspired me to be a venture was there was this one like lone venture uh, girl that would always end up at the troop meetings and I was just very inspired by her growing up. It really interested me what she did, especially because she was the only one. And I knew that that was something I wanted to bring into the scouting community that I was in. So it was really nice to be able to do that. The National Venturing Committee is proud to recognize Ella Hirsch with the National Venturing Leadership Award. Congratulations. Ella is a fearless leader and has been throughout her entire term and has truly elevated venturing throughout her career. We thank you for your service. Now let's meet our next recipient. Jim is serving as the chair of the program committee for the National Venturing Committee. He has championed plans and proposals to integrate venturing into other programs in the BSA. After working at Venturing in 2018, he volunteered to be the adult chair for Venturing Fest in 2020, a position where he has mentored a large team of youth and adults during the planning process, often adding a drop of humor to lighten the mood. He values the opinions of youth, helping guide them through the process of achieving their own goals. My best uh, memory from venturing is uh, back in Venturing Fest uh, 2018, when I was working with Jen Hancock and David Bush and Walter Weaver and uh, Bob Avey and a bunch of other folks there to, uh, to run the operation side of Venturing Fest. It was so much fun to work flat out for a whole week, no other distractions. It was just all venturing. It just, it was so exciting to, to work with a team that was all focus on one thing and feel like you're really making a difference. It was, uh, it was just a really great experience. The National Venturing Committee is proud to recognize Jim Lynch with the National Venturing Leadership Award. Congratulations. 
Jim is well accomplished and above all else, supports the youth venture in all ways possible. We thank you for your service. Now let's meet our next recipient. Julie is currently serving as the Central Region Venturing Advisor. She has also been a Powderhorn Course Director, helped with Venturing Fest as the Central Region Chief of Staff, and previously served as an Area Advisor and Region Associate Advisor. She works to learn the personalities and needs of her team, allowing her to adapt to help them. Julie has created grassroots projects such as the Area Standards of Venturing Excellence Award, which gained traction across the entire nation. She has served venturing for over a decade and makes an excellent recipient of the National Venturing Leadership Award. Well, I got involved in venturing when my daughter turned 14. She's my youngest child and had tagged along with her brothers through Cub Scouts and Boy Scouts. And so finally she was able to join. And so we formed a crew and started off on that adventure. And so she is now 30 something and she's not playing venturing anymore, but I am still involved. The National Venturing Committee is proud to recognize Julie Dalton with the National Venturing Leadership Award. Congratulations. I can personally attest to the personal care that she gives towards venturing and the dedicated leadership that she shows. We thank you for your service. And now let's meet our next recipient. Lindsay has served as an important advocate to strengthen the new link between the Venturing Program and the Order of the Arrow. She has been outstanding in representing Venturing and she's worked hard to ensure a female Venturing presence in the Order of the Arrow. Lindsay shows extreme patience when working with others and she is willing to follow others so that they can have the opportunity to lead and grow. Lindsay is a pioneer and she is very deserving of the National Venturing Leadership Award. Originally, my sister and I got involved in venturing because we were unable to join our brothers in the Boy Scout program at the time, but then we found how beneficial the program was and how it was such a great place for opportunities of high adventure and leadership, so we set goals to get Ranger and Summit. I think it's important to serve because we're scouts, and as scouts, we must remember that a scout is helpful, um, and I am a scout at heart and always will be, and I live by the scout oath in law, so serving means a lot to me because of that. The National Venturing Committee is proud to recognize Lindsay Nedro with the National Venturing Leadership Award. Congratulations. Lindsay has worked extremely hard to bridge the gap between venturing and the Order of the Arrow, and I know she continues to still work hard. We thank you for your service. Now let's meet our next recipient. Natalie has served as a council president, area president, and currently is serving as the Central Region Venturing President. Natalie has worked to increase collaboration between regions and areas, allowing the venturing program to operate more seamlessly at all levels. She also worked to develop the area standards of venturing excellence as a method to further strengthen areas. Natalie is always willing to take charge and help improve the morale of others, no matter how gloomy a situation may seem. I first joined venturing my sophomore year of high school after a friend invited me every single day for a year to join her venturing crew. And every single day for a year, I told her no. I had grown up alongside my brother in the VSA, but I'd always wanted a way to be a part. And by sophomore year, I felt like I had the time to invest in venturing, start a crew, and explore the outdoors a little bit more. Serving the Venturing Program is a way for me to give back to the program that's given me so much. Over the years, I've developed my leadership skills, learned to step outside of my comfort zone, and met people across the country who have become my best friends and my mentors and really shaped me into the person who I am today. The National Venturing Committee is proud to recognize Natalie Nichols 
with the National Venturing Leadership Award. Congratulations. Natalie radiates positivity and has extreme enthusiasm and respect for the Venturing program and its members. We thank you for your service. Now let's meet our next recipient. Ryan is currently serving as the Venturing Fest Youth Lead as well as being on the National Venturing Program Committee. He previously has served as an area president as well as being the Southern Region Venturing President. Ryan has outstanding leadership and organizational skills and has developed countless resources for others to utilize in the future. He continues to dedicate time to the program, ensuring not only that every task is completed, but also that it teaches youth skills along the way. When participating in venturing, even if you don't know him, you will find that Ryan's footprints are everywhere. I have to say one of my best memories from venturing is going through the nail course at Northern Tier. It is definitely one of my top three in my life of things that I've done. Uh, the reason being is, is with nail, it kind of, I was at a different place in my life with it. I was fairly new to the venturing world and with that nail program, it kind of opened my eyes to a lot more when it came to leadership and outdoors and involvement. Anybody who's gone through Northern Tier knows how challenging it can be to carry a pretty heavy aluminum canoe over your head and go up and down mountains and in between lake. Uh, but then also, of course, the leadership. And I mean, I've made so many friends through that program that I'm still friends with too today. The National Venturing Committee is proud to recognize Ryan Davis with the National Venturing Leadership Award. Congratulations. Ryan has worked very hard for many years behind the scenes to develop an outstanding program and has led his team to venturing successes. We thank you for your service. Now let's meet our next recipient. Tyler is the current Western Region Venturing President and the incoming National Venturing President. He has served as part of the National Venturing Communications Committee, National Venturing Strategic Planning Committee, and the Venturing Fest Western Region Base Camp staff. He leads by example and strongly encourages feedback, reaching out to whoever he works with in order to ensure there is a culture of teamwork and excellence. Tyler has helped show how venturing can modernize by expanding its focus during webinars, and he continues to strive for a vision of a stronger venturing program. I think my favorite memory with venturing was actually Venturing Fest 2018. This is the first time I, I got to see venturing on a, on a national scale. And it was really exciting because uh, I was on staff for my, my Western Region base camp. That allowed me to kind of work with the other base camp staff and, and walk around the Venturing Fest at the summit and get to meet everybody. So uh, every evening I always tried to, to meet somebody new and uh, engage with as many people as I could because you know it just felt like such a once in a lifetime opportunity. We had 2000 venturers in one place. I, I think that's the, the largest gathering of venturers to date. So it was it was awesome, you know, just seeing everybody there all in all, fantastic time. And I, I love getting to meet all the different people. The National Venturing Committee is proud to recognize Tyler Gray with the National Venturing Leadership Award. Congratulations. Tyler has truly, truly proven himself and serves as an outstanding leadership role model to his peers. We thank you for your service. Now, we actually do have one more recipient that we've kept a surprise until now. Let's meet this person. Owen became an Eagle Scout as a youth and his journey through scouting has never stopped. 27 years ago, he took a professional scouting position as a senior district executive. Since then, he has served as a district executive, the Florida Sea Base Director of Operations, a Council Director of Field Service, the Associate Director of Programs for Philmont Scout Ranch, and a BSA Corporate Partnerships Manager. After the 2017 National Jamboree, he became the National Venturing Director, and he has spent the last three years volunteering his time to help benefit the scouting program in that role. Owen has been instrumental in development of the program, both through his actions and by advising the youth he has encountered along the way. Now, not only does he serve on a national level, but he still takes the time to be a crew advisor and assistant scoutmaster for two troops. 
Owen is engaged at every level of scouting, and he exemplifies the level of that leadership we all admire. It is an honor to have Owen McCulloch receive the National Venturing Leadership Award. Surprise, surprise. I appreciate everyone's help in keeping this a secret until now. Owen McCullen is the National Venturing Staff Advisor. He has worked tirelessly in all hours of the day and night to support and improve venturing. His leadership style and support is exactly what we need in a leadership position like this at the national office. I cannot tell you how dedicated this man is in supporting the youth of our program and all of its volunteers. In fact, Owen was originally selected to receive this award, but humbly gave it up so that another deserving individual would be able to receive it. During our selection committee um, call, uh, but then after that call, uh, we actually uh, ended up selecting 11 of a possible 12 awards to give out. Without Owen's knowledge, the selection committee had discussed and decided to present Owen with that last award. Thank you, Owen, for all that you do. We appreciate you. This is a huge accomplishment for all of our recipients tonight. And you are now among the elite list of recipients for this award. We appreciate all that you have done and all that you will continue to do to support the venturing program and the venturers of it. The National Venturing Committee is proud of all of our accomplishments in, in being able to honor you with this award. I now declare this National Court of Honor closed. Thank you to everybody for joining us tonight and to helping us congratulate our National Venturing Leadership Award recipients. I will now turn things over to Robbie DiBaggio, the National Venturing Advisor. Thank you. Wow, well, what a great group of recipients and congratulations, everyone. You know, one of the, the pleasures of being an advisor is you get to serve just incredible youth. And I didn't know all of Pamela's comments before she came on today, but she definitely said a lot of great things about our NVOA. So I'm gonna to try to top it, but I don't think it's gonna happen. You know, these six officers work daily and travel almost every weekend to support the venturing program. And that is just a level of servant leadership you don't see much in college students. So Pamela, Caitlin, Claire, Ella, Natalie, and Tyler, you guys are absolutely incredible. And so on behalf of a grateful nation and the venturing program, I'd like to thank you for all of you've done. And if you were in person right now, you'd be hearing a roaring standing ovation for all your hard work. And I wish we could present this to you in person, but on behalf of myself and the rest of the regional advisors, we are gonna be presenting you with a plaque. It's a laser engraved plaque that is a little commemorative to each of you with your name, your position, and the vision statement that each of you came up with at the beginning of the term. And believe me, you guys have lived up to that challenge and you've accomplished your vision. And I can't thank you enough for all your tireless efforts. Now, before I turn this over to Jen Hancock, our, our venturing chair, there's one more person and actually a couple other things I'd like to say about this woman. Jen has served tirelessly for the venturing program for as long as I can even remember. She has served in multiple positions from the crew level through the region and now serving as our top volunteer. Jen, your tireless efforts have changed tens of thousands of lives. And when we came together to try to figure out something that we could give a friend, then we decided maybe not a friend, but even a closer friend, a family member, and a true confidant. It, it took a long time to figure out. But combining your efforts of scouting and your international passion, we have decided to dedicate a brick at Gilwall Park to you in your name, with also the quote saying, servant leader and BSA visionary. Because those two things encompass almost everything you do. And so on behalf of the National Venturing Committee and every young person in the world, we'd like to thank you for your service to venturing. And I wish you the best of luck on your next adventure. And always remember that your heart will be in venturing and we are supporting you in everything you do. So Madam Chairman, the floor is yours. Thank you, Robbie. That was very kind of you. I appreciate that. And I will treasure that forever. So looking forward to seeing it one day in person. Good evening. I would like to take this opportunity to say thank you to the members of the National Venturing Committee for their many hours of dedicated service to the program. I would also like to extend 
My deepest appreciation to the thousands of youth and adults who comprise our venturing volunteers and leadership. Because of you, this program has impacted hundreds of thousands of people across this country and the world. Communities inside of Scouting and Out are experiencing some very difficult times. When I first became a venturing volunteer, Ponce Duran, the director of the Southern Region, shared a quote from Napoleon Bonaparte with me. During times of hardship, a good leader must do two things, define reality and give hope. My challenge to each of you is to continue to give hope inside your volunteer roles and out. Once again, I want to say thank you for giving me the opportunity to serve as your National Venturing Chair. I hope I have the opportunity to see each of you on the scouting trail again. With that, I would like to introduce you to your incoming National Venturing Chairman, Bernie Lockhart. Bernie has been a very active volunteer at every level, from unit service to the national. Please take a moment to welcome him when you have a chance. Thank you once again for joining us this evening to celebrate venturing. Over you, Bernie. Thank you. Thank you, Jen. Thank you for everything you've done. You know, all I can say about tonight is wow. What a, what a great night. What a great event this has been. I absolutely love to see those videos and get to know these, uh, these recipients just a little bit better. Congratulations to all 11 of you. Uh, you all certainly deserve it. Your work in this program is so greatly appreciated, and you really deserve more than just a, a ribbon around your neck. I wish we could do more to it. Um, it is a real shame that we couldn't do this in person. Uh, I'm sure everyone, the 200 people who are watching this on Facebook would uh, like to shake your hands uh, and thank you for what, what you've done for the program. Uh, but I promise you, the next opportunity we have to do it in uh, person, we will, in fact, do that. So congratulations again to all of you. Double congratulations to Tyler, too. Uh, I know you have some tough shoes to follow uh, with Pamela, but uh, I know I can see you taking this program just to the next level. And finally, a, a shout out to those that made this night happen. Uh, Dan, Ryan, Brandon, T, and Owen. You know, without your hard work behind the scenes and all the work that went into presenting this Putting this thing together tonight, uh, this event would not have happened. So thank you to all of you. It's been a great night. We have a great program. And thanks to all of you, our program will only get better. Now, let me turn it back over to Pamela and Caitlin. Thank you for your inspirational words, Bernie Lockhart, and congratulations to all of the recipients of the National Venturing Leadership Award. If we could have all of our National Venturing Leadership Award recipients turn on your video and put on your national VLAs, we would love to get a group photo and take a moment to recognize you. Well, I got to stay still for the camera shot, right? <laughs> congratulations, everyone. Yes, congratulations. Thank you very much. And congratulations. Very well deserved. Congratulations again, everyone. This program would not be possible without all of your dedication and hard work. At this time, we would like to thank you all for attending this evening's virtual venturing reception. This was a wonderful evening of celebration and it is clear that venturing has a bright future ahead. We hope that you have a wonderful summer and we wish you the best. Have a wonderful evening. <laughs>